the statistics point to 70% of the world's water is used for agriculture. If we can't feed the world, we're going to have some really major challenges. So by using water reuse technologies, by taking municipal water and reusing, you know, treating and reusing that water and supplying our farms, uh, we can change that footprint dramatically. So uh, water reuse in ag is important and is going to continue to grow. For farming as an industry, the restrictions on pulling water out of wells, with the domestic water supplies running short, I think that there's a great opportunity for keeping your farm productive and sustainable going into the future by using recycled water. The Slings Valley is a salad bowl of America, if you will. And so growing in agriculture has been there for a number of years. Through the pumping of groundwater, there's been seawater intrusion that has been slowly migrating inland and certainly affecting the various aquifers that the growers take their water from. We battle salts due to pumping. And as you pump water from any level, it creates an empty space. And with the pressure of the Pacific Ocean to the west of you, it tends to fill in that empty space. In the beginning, there was people that were concerned about buying produce and the shippers were concerned about it. It was something unknown to actually put recycled water, it's treated wastewater, onto raw consumed vegetable crops. There were barriers for us to use recycled water for ag. The California regulations allowed it. We, the growers wanted it. We were pursuing a project. And then our county health officer, environmental health, said no. County health officers, by nature, tend to be extremely conservative. So someone, they said, okay, he is the most negative about the project, has the most questions. Let's make him the chair of the uh, research committee. We spent 11 years studying everything that he could think of that he thought might be a problem with the safety of using the water, looking at viruses, bacteria, heavy metals, just anything you could think of. Uh, worker safety, the consumer safety, everything. He got all these questions answered. And he went all the way from being the, uh, the biggest skeptic of the project to the biggest supporter. There's never been an incident all the time that uh, recycled water's been used of any uh, associated illness with, with anyone. And we make sure our water is one of the safest waters for irrigation in the world. And we, we can back that up. As far as uh, worker safety, we have never, ever had an issue, ever. We have not, in fact, to my knowledge, there's never been one person sick or sickened or even felt they were going to be sick from irrigating with our water. So the benefits that we've seen to the region is groundwater levels have recovered. We are actually seeing our groundwater levels in our wells rising. The biggest impact is the slowing of the uh, seawater intrusion. The organic nitrogen levels in our recycled water are considerable and that it's all coming back to the land and, and our crops are able to use that instead of being discharged in the bay. It's the best thing that we've ever done and hopefully at one point we're going to be able to expand it. The world's population is growing, the middle class is growing at an even higher rate, and this is really an exciting opportunity for the world as the world is lifted from poverty standards to higher middle class standards. But that puts a big demand on the natural resources that we all consume, water, food, and energy being three. And we see the nexus of these needs that you can't produce energy without water, you can't produce food without water and energy, and you need energy to produce water. So they're intimately connected, and water's the common thread through this entire nexus. Urban Organics is a commercial scale aquaponic facility located in St. Paul, Minnesota. And our mission is to inspire a better food system by producing locally grown produce and protein while minimizing the impact on the environment. Pantera is a global leader in the movement and treatment of water. We heard about urban organics and their vision to create an urban farm. 
And we saw this as a great opportunity because it was really aligned with our mission around the food energy nexus. The opportunity to create these standardized urban farms that you could imagine replicating around the world has a great vision. And we see aquaponics as a really exciting way to supplement the food cycle. Aquaponics is the combination of aquaculture, which is raising fish in tanks, and hydroponics, which is the cultivation of plants in water. And there's this synergistic effect where the fish produce the, the fertilizer for the produce, the produce further purify the water, and that goes back to the fish. So you create this symbiotic cycle. Now, in between there, there's a lot of technology, and that's where Pantera comes in. Right now, we have tilapia and uh, hybrid striped bass in our HAMS facility, and we have four 3,500-gallon tanks. And we take the water from those tanks, we filter it through a uh, two-stage filtration process, we have a mechanical filtration that removes all the solid waste and a biological filtration which converts the ammonia that's left in the water to nitrates. It's that nitrate-rich water that provides all the nitrogen for the plants and the plants in turn help clean that water so when it makes its way back to the fish, it, it, it's just closed loop cycle. And of course before the water goes back to the fish tanks, it makes a pass through a UV filter which would eliminate any bacteria or pathogens. The instrumentation and control system is monitoring all the various parameters of water quality that are critical to the operation and the sustainability of the fish. Oxygen, pH, ammonia, suspended solids, salt levels to make sure that the, the fish are growing in a sustainable environment. It's very much a, a symbiotic relationship. The plants are only as happy as the fish and vice versa. We don't see sustainability and profitability as incompatible. All of the solutions that we develop are to reduce the amount of water we use, to reduce the amount of energy that is used in the treatment and movement of the water. But once you start to pair some of this you know, modern technology, whether it's uh, variable frequency drive pumps or the lighting that's used, you'll start to see these cost savings almost immediately. In this process, we use less than 2% of the water that we would typically use to grow the same produce. And in this environment where it's very engineered, we're able to grow the produce almost twice the rate at which it typically can grow in a regular soil type environment. And on top of that, by being able to engineer the structures in which we're able to uh, grow the produce more densely, you're almost up to seven times improvement in production per acre for the produce. My customer base is committed to doing things responsibly. So the idea of buying product, uh, being farmed responsibly uh, locally in St. Paul was something that they were very interested in. They too, after getting their hands on the product, found the quality to be fantastic. The quality from Riverhead Organic is as good as you can get it. You can't even believe the basil. And you can only grow this basil, honestly, in Mexico. But he's growing this basil indoors, and it has the same consistency, same, but it has a better smell, better taste. It's just, it's unbelievable. And I think the, every retailer believes the same, and I know the consumer does because they're buying it. We can't get enough. One of our goals in, in going into this is neighborhood revitalization and job creation. And not only jobs created maybe in this facility, but the more food that we start to produce, you know, look at, look at our next facility, we're talking 250, 275,000 pounds a year of fish and almost half a million pounds of produce. So not only are we gonna have 40 to 60 jobs at this facility, but then you have to look at who's packaging it, who's distributing it on both sides, and you can start to see some, some big benefits I think this is a model for what can be used in other locations. So I think having Pentair really experimenting with the work that's being done here at Urban Organics is phenomenal. I mean, we can be the testing ground and say this was sort of ground zero for a fabulous new way of growing sustainable agriculture. As soon as you start thinking about wastewater as a resource, you start to think about a wastewater treatment plant not being a treatment plant, but a resource recovery plant and a profit center, right? So if you can recover water, if you can recover energy, if you can recover nutrients, you're really starting to change the way in which we think about uh, that entire water treatment cycle. Water is water. Some waters get dirty, but we can clean it up either naturally or we have a faster process where we can clean it up. The sustainability of water will be to use it twice in households, in farming, in every aspect 
of water use.